In today's Excel exercise, I want to show you how to integrate charts into tables, like you can see here on my example. Let's have a closer look to the repeat function we are going to use for this trick. Actually, the bar chart looks like a bar chart, but it's nothing else than text in a cell. The trick we use here is a simple but very efficient formula, which is the formula of repeating, repeating a text a certain time. So I can key in a text here like a big I and decide to repeat these I for 90 times and the result is a bar chart finally. Well there is some detail here if you like the illusion of a bar chart then the repeat function would use a symbol which I have here in my B2 cell which is a square and I would multiply it by, again, a certain number, which, of course, I can refer to a cell. I just pick this one next to it. I would key in 90 here, which would give us 90 times the square, which, of course, now is, is a lot and would not fit into my cell. So the formula I would use, I would, in addition, add a scaling factor. So let's assume that the 90 is the original data, but too much to fit into the cell. I would like to multiply it by a scaling factor, which for instance, as an example, I have here in cell B3. So this would then downsize the 90 to whatever, let's assume 10, and uh, this is the result here now. You might ask how to get the number next to it. Well, here in this particular case, as this is a text string only, the only thing what we would have to do is to add to this same string a commercial end, which is kind of linking another text to the text, a space if we liked it and another and referring to the original data. I take the 10 now to show you the effect. And the bar chart illusion is ready. The nice thing now, of course, is that you could just copy it and it would have the bar chart in all the lines ready-made. Well, in particular here, the only thing is that on this side, we would see the variances aligned to the left. On this side, we would see it aligned to the right. Have a look to our retraining area of the diploma program, stage three. Here we can find the template and download the template and play around with it. Since I know this trick, to be honest, I never use the bar chart again. I always do the bars with this repeat formula and it's just so easy.